Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Brandy and this is Brandy Reads. Today we will be discussing Suzanne Kearsley's Bellwether. This came out in August of this year, 2018. love this book. You get two love stories in one great read. You follow Charlie through present day while she is uncovering a love story from the 1780s. She's also discovering her own love story. The one she's uncovering from the 1780s is centered around Lydia who is the sister of a Revolutionary War hero. I really love how this author blended the past with the present. You really get a sense of you're right there discovering things with the characters in the book. They're in the process of opening a museum and this museum is going to be in the home of a war hero from the Revolutionary War. And you're gonna be discovering things with the characters as they renovate this house and get it back to its original um, state where it's been updated throughout the years. They're taking it back in time and, and bringing it back to life as it would have been in the 1780s. With that, you discover with them the secrets the house holds on top of which the ghost that's living in the house and and also helping the house reveal its secrets. I really like getting different point of views from different characters throughout novels and this one gives you just that. While you're reading you get different point of views. You get the point of view from the past and you get the point of view from the future or the present. The mixture of the two really gives this book depth and really brings out the history. It really just immerses you in this, this discovery that these characters are going on. Charlie has moved to a small town on the coast of Long Island. She's helping her niece cope with the death of her father, which is Charlie's brother. Charlie lands the job as the curator for the museum that is now being restored in the house of, of this war hero. Upon moving to this small town um, on the coast of Long Island, Charlie doesn't know anything about this war hero or his family or the long time standing ghost stories that revolve around this house and the family. But she soon learns about them. Uh, and in doing so, she discovers that maybe there's not as much fiction to this as there seems to be. Apparently ghosts are real. And apparently these ghost stories aren't as far fetched as they seem. It appears the ghost is determined to help the house reveal the secrets that it holds about the past and the people who used to live in it. Most of these ghost stories date back to the war itself. Determining which ones are real and which ones are not and just how much of them are real is Charlie's job along with the rest of the contractors and board of directors who are overseeing the opening of the museum. Some of these discoveries are not as likable as others. Along with uncovering secrets from the past, Charlie also has some personal journeys to take in this novel, which again adds to the depth. It's these personal journeys that lead her to better discoveries and better understanding of the past as well. Okay, so a little history on war etiquette from the 1700s. Uh, Commanding officers, if captured with their platoons, were treated better than the foot soldiers, so they were housed differently, whereas the foot soldiers would be kept in a camp for POWs. The commanding officers would be housed with local residents um, who either had the room or made room, more or less, or were told to make room for them. Two such officers were housed with this Revolutionary War hero's family while he's away, and he was actually blockade running during the war. Since he's out blockade running, his family has a little more room in their house than they normally would have. One of the not-so-nice community leaders, I guess, decides that this family should house two war captives even though they've suffered greatly at the hands of the war. The sister who is now 
lady of the house as the mother has passed away has now to play lady of the house to two commanding officers for the opposite side. She develops feelings for one of these officers which leads to the development of the ghost stories that Charlie is hearing in the future which would now be the present for us. It's this very intricate tale of how the past affects the future and it's done very beautifully. Lydia is the sister of this war hero and she's the one playing lady of the house to the captives. She's the one developing feelings for said captive who is also developing feelings for her however being on opposite sides of the war they are both afraid of showing their feelings and letting letting everyone around them know how they feel but also letting each other know how they feel. They're they're trying to protect themselves and each other because this is a very dangerous situation that they're in. Obviously it, he may not be an English officer but he is with the French Canadian um, army who is helping the English. It's just not a safe situation for either one of them to be in and trying to keep each other safe is a big deal. What really brings this story to life is the way these two characters, Charlie and Lydia, really go about getting what they want, getting the love that they have found and wanting to, to live with the people that they've fallen in love with. It's your involvement with these characters that make you really pull for them. Thanks for watching and if this is your first time joining us, be sure to hit subscribe below and don't forget the bell for your notifications. Drop us a comment and the thumbs up and let us know how you liked it. If you didn't like it, feel free to hit the thumbs down and let us know what we can fix. See you on the next one. We'll be posting another one next week. Cameraman is not helping. <laughs>